So I made a video about how to compile the mainline kernel Linux for uh, Windows Subsystem for Linux 2, um, but some subscribers found uh, some issues and I I'm making here this video to share these founds and also share uh, the solutions. So if you want to know more, stay with me. Hey guys, Matheus Castello here, and if you don't know me, I'm an embedded software engineer and kernel Linux developer. And all my spare time, I like to share knowledge, share something that I'm studying or uh, working on here on this YouTube channel. So if you like this kind of uh, content about kernel Linux and embedded Linux, WSL stuff, please subscribe to the channel uh, to receive more content. Okay, so let's go to the issues. The first one I could reproduce, but only on uh, the Insiders Lab channels. I'm back here on the Stable channel, and on the Stable channel I could not reproduce the issue, but uh, I have here on report an uh, open issue on uh, the GitHub from Microsoft uh, for the WSL2 Linux kernel. And as you can see here, the guy uh, is reporting that using a custom kernel Linux, they get this error occurred mounting one of your file system. Please run the mask. And on the mask, we have this uh, 9p net could not find request transport with IO. On the init, uh, the WSL, the distro are trying to mount or uh, Windows C disk using the transport with IO argument, right? And uh, as we can see here, this kernel uh, don't have support for this. So uh, let me show here. I will run my distro, my Debian distro here on my Windows subsystem for Linux. Let's check here, whoops, let's check the kernel version. Here I'm using the latest kernel Linux release candidate from uh, Linux Torvalds, right? And what what I want to show you guys is uh, the configs. Let's check here the proc config gz and let's fill, let's wrap to 9p and as you can see here I'm using the NAT 9p as the remote protocol, the remote file system protocol that WSL used to uh, share the file systems between, to connect the file systems between Windows and Linux, right? Because of this we have access to, uh, for example, your user uh, file system, the Windows user file system inside uh, the IMPV, inside the, the WSL distro, right? And as you can see here, the 9p virt IO is not set, right? But I don't have any issue with virt IO or the 9p, right? I don't have the issues uh, with 9p, the 9p the protocol and everything is working. Here on the stable channel, we don't have this problem. We do not need uh, the virt IO, the net uh, 9p virt IO configured. But if you get some issue like this one uh, reported here, and if you get the mask logs and found this uh, request transport virtual IO from the 9p net is because we have to uh, enable this guy here. So another thing that I want to show is let's I will comment here my custom kernel on .wsl config. I will shut down to WSL and um, call again to Devin and now we will load uh, a default 
um, kernel from Microsoft, okay? So with this kernel, uh, if we get here to proc config z and wrap by 9p, you can see tnet 9p virtual is enabled, right? So on the future or on the next updates of the WSL, I think this configuration uh, will be needed. Other thing is, uh, let's go here to the kernel source code. Here is the repository. I'm using the repository from Microsoft, WSL Linux kernel, right? And the configs that we have here, uh, the config WSL, for example, if we grab here by 9p, you can see that config net 9p virtual is not set. So if you get the issue with 9p virtual and we are using the config WSL as base, uh, we have to edit this here, change it to config net 9p virtual equal uh, yes, to config and enable this guy. So this solve uh, this solve this kind of issue here uh, when when init tries to mount the C disk, the Windows uh, file system using the 9p net uh, with transport virtual. Yo. Okay, so next issue. On the next issue, I have to load here. Uh, I have to load here another kernel. Is the local version? Oops. Is my mainline kernel, but with my custom local version set. It. So let's shoot down to WSL again, and let's call on the Debian distro. Okay, so now we have here the mainline kernel, right? The release candidate for, but micro hobby version. So the issue is this local version. Um, on my video, on the steps of my video, I, I claim that you on your own kernel can customize this local version and set your name or your enterprise name or your dog name, whatever you want. But the problem is we have here on the WSL um, distros, this guy, the etc. profile, right? And here this guy is checking for the kernel Linux version, right? And this guy expects to find the Microsoft uh, string inside on, on the kernel version, right? So if this script don't find the Microsoft string inside the kernel Linux version, uh, we have this if block here and uh, the script will override the path of our bash section. So uh, here, for example, if I echo for the path, we have only the Linux file system uh, folders inside the path. But let me shoot down this guy again. Let's load here the default Microsoft uh, kernel. Let's call again to Debian. And now I'm using the default kernel Linux from Microsoft, right? And if we check here the path, we have uh, the Linux paths, right? And also we have the Microsoft Windows path. So the variables, the environment variables from Windows, right? For example, here the path, uh, the path environment variable, all these entries here, we have also here on our WSL path. Because in this version, right? In this version of 
uh, of the kernel of Linux, we have the Microsoft string uh, on, on at the end of the Linux version. So the etc profile checks for this Microsoft string and don't enters here, don't go to this if block and don't override or path, right? And we have everything from uh, the Microsoft Windows path. And also we have here uh, the IP data local program, Microsoft Visual Studio Code insiders bin. Inside here, uh, we have this bash script, the code insiders so or code if you use uh, code instead code insiders, right? This bash script is uh, the guy that handle the remote connection and calls uh, the Visual Studio Code on Windows, right? And open the remote connection between uh, to Windows and or WSL. So we have two ways to solve this issue. The first one, to, the first workaround is edit this etc profile and remove here this if block this best for Microsoft uh, string or as I do here let let load here my custom kernel I have the custom kernel here uh, let's shoot down again to WSL and call to Debian again so let's check the version right now and now I have the mainline um, kernel Linux, right? We release a candidate for micro hobby, right? But also I append here the Microsoft standard uh, on the end of my uh, Linux version. With this, we have the path, the complete path, uh, the Linux path with uh, the Microsoft Windows path. Uh, on our WSL and we can for example check here my build scripts and use the Visual Studio Code to open this this will call the Visual Studio Code on Windows and we will make the remote connection between uh, our WSL distro and the second solution I will exemplify here only to show that it's possible, but I recommend you append the Microsoft string on the local version because I don't know, maybe um, it's not only the profile script that use or that expects find um, the Microsoft string on the Linux version, right? So um, it's better have this Microsoft string uh, here on Linux version, but let's uh, let's say did here. Uh, oh, first let's check the path. Only Linux um, paths, right? And okay, let's edit now uh, the etc profile. Okay, and let's comment here this block. Okay, so uh, save it. And now I will exit from my distro and we will go back, right? Back to the distro. I'm using here my Linux version with only my uh, micro hobby, only my micro hobby string with, uh, without the Microsoft string. And let's check the path again. And now we have the Linux uh, paths and also uh, to Windows path uh, entries from the environment variable to path uh, environment variable. And if we try to open here the build scripts using the code as expected, we have the Visual Studio code open it and with uh, the WSL remote connection uh, working. So I think is it, uh, I hope you like it. If you like, don't forget to leave your like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, right? 
Uh, I hope that this information can be useful uh, for you. If you don't like it, no problem. Uh, leave your dislike here and also leave your comment uh, on the comments below, right? And this is good for us improve here um, the content of the videos, right? So yeah, this is it. I see you on the next video.